I said I was looking at having a break and what he thought about it and he said, yeah, I don't think that will do any harm because I've been playing back to back for pretty much my whole life. So he was more than happy to work me out. So I train with his boys that he trains every day as well. So it's good that I still got to scrimmage um, but didn't have the pressure of having to play on the weekends. Yeah, I think that that's really important uh, to get away from competition. I don't think uh, playing 12 months of the year is for everybody and uh, to not be at a point where everything that you do is subject to a consequence. So uh, it's really hard to say, well, I want to improve my shot or improve my handle or whatever else. If you play two days later, you can't really do that. But if you've got a period of time where you can experiment or break your game down and find ways to build it back up, then, then that's useful. Bounce pass, magic for two, yes! I think as you get older, obviously your body tells you what you need. I'm pretty young to have a break, but I guess mentally and physically that was something I needed to do. Melbourne in the lead, Magin dominant! Test Magin, absolutely superb! To continue developing my game, so in the point guard role I really want to become an established um, point guard and I think having Guy Malloy who I reckon is one of the best skills coaches out there, he's really helping me push my game even further. Oh, here's a turnover! Nicely oh. done! The decision to actually improve your game over the off-season hopefully will be a strong investment for her. Imagine draws the foul, she'll go to the line. Representing Australia, um, just qualifying them for the Olympics and the World Championships last year was a real honour. Well, I definitely want to represent Australia at an Olympics, so the closest one is Rio, so that's my aim at the moment. Well, with Rebecca and with Tess, what I felt was that they were players that could emerge to that level and we had a goal to say, well, if you make a camp, then that's great. And then after they made a camp, if you make a tour, that's great. But every bit of exposure was good for them. And uh, I think naturally what tends to happen is that at the end of a major event, the coaching staff of a national program will always look and see, well, how do we need to rebuild or re-emerge? And sometimes opportunities come for younger players on the back end of those tournaments. So it was about your opportunity will come if, if um, you're prepared to plan in advance and, and be ready when your window is open.